Hi everyone, now, there's been a lot of talk about how AI is potentially going to replace jobs and what does this mean for HR and recruiting. And so I've been playing around recently with a tool called Crew AI. Uh, it's an open source tool, they do have a premium version, uh, but I got very excited after playing with previous agent workflows uh, to figure out how could we potentially apply this to a use case within the recruiting sector. So what I'm going to walk through today is a quick demo on how you may want to use uh, agents to create a recruiting process, whether that's to enhance an existing recruiting team and increase capacity or potentially do self-service as a hiring manager and really just show you the limitations and the opportunities that exist in the space. So by the end of this, I hope you're going to have a better understanding as to how this can be used uh, and hopefully uh, provide some more insights and comments uh, for future discussion in that area. So let's jump in. I'm going to uh, switch over to, uh, this is called a Jupyter Notebook, um, essentially just a way to run Python code in a uh, very simple format. Um, so we're going to go through our AI recruiter demo. Um, you see, see some introduction here, pause the video if you want to read through that. But what I want to jump straight into is actually running this thing that we call a crew. Uh, now, to give you some, some context, uh, some overview, um, the way that we are going to build this setup is you have uh, individual agents. Now, um, the way that the agents are built in this tool is if you imagine each agent is an individual employee within your team. And so so on a recruiting team, maybe you have sources, maybe you have uh, lead recruiters who are actually going to do the outreach, or maybe you have um, recruiters that do the outreach, then they hand them off to the recruiter who's actually going to close. Maybe you include hiring managers who are going to re review resumes in there. But what you can do with each of those individual kind of jobs, those profiles, you can create an agent to act as that individual. And so that's where we're going to go with the agents. And um, towards the end of the video, I'm going to go through how the agents were set up here, but I want to focus on the output and what's most important. Uh, the next set is tasks. So if you imagine you hire someone to do a role, you can give them a list of tasks that they're going to need to do in order to fulfill that role. And so that's essentially what we're doing here. So we're going to uh, play around with two different agents. One is a research agent, uh, and the other one is an agent who's actually going to do the outreach. So I think kind of source or recruiter. Uh, the second set on the, the defining tasks, we're going to have the uh, profiling candidate task, which is what the source is going to do. They're essentially going to do online research to try and profile a candidate, and then a personalized outreach uh, task. So the recruiter is going to use this task to actually reach out to a candidate. And what we're going to do is form a crew um, of these kind of these two different agents. We're also going to add in some kind of quality control there as well. And then we're going to run the crew. Um, here in the experiment, you saw that I was playing around with uh, Mark Zuckerberg and trying to hire Mark for a chief AI advisor role. What I've actually done is added my own name here. I ran it before I uh, recorded this video just to see if this would actually work, given my name is kind of less well known. Uh, but I thought it'd be interesting to see how that works. And so what we're doing here is setting this up. And hopefully, it's not too scary looking at the um, format in here. But we just have a candidate name, which is me, the role that we're hiring that candidate for, the key skill that we're trying to identify within that candidate and why that candidate may be interested in this potential role. And so I've already run all the prep code below. And so if I just run this one, and um, what you're going to see is the crew actually starts running immediately. And what this is essentially doing, it's going through the tasks that I'm going to walk you through. And it's essentially executing each of the tasks and having the agents run the task. So the agent is the large language model. Um, uh, interface and the task is telling that large language model what to do within the context of how we set up the agents. So let's go through this. Um, initially, it's actually looking within our internal instructions. So if you already have these things set up, um, you know maybe you have a list of candidates you already uh, have in process, or maybe you have kind of like certain processes that you want to go through. Um, you'll probably have those internally, but because um, I, I purposely didn't save anything internally here, um, what our researcher is doing is actually going to the internet. So they're doing a search. Um, using a, a Google and essentially coming up with um, all these different hits for Chris Mannion. So, um, you know, here's some of my LinkedIn posts, uh, my consulting page, um, some blog posts that I've done, um, actually something that uh, employees at DeSalle's University, which is not me. So you can see how you know, some of them are um, directly related to me, others are not. Um, and now it's going to move ahead and say, okay, let's look at um, a post that I did. Um, there's an error. Yeah. So uh, for certain pages, the tool that we're using is not going to be able to actually get on there, especially with LinkedIn, which is kind of cutting off those kind of processes. Um, so they did have some limitation, but uh, even with the limited information they got, they're able to build up a professional background of me. This looks accurate, key skills and experience. You can see how you know they're gradually building this um, framework that they're going to use then to kind of reach out to me. So strong candidate. Um, so now that agent has finished working, and if, if I scroll back up, you can see that the agent that we passed this along to was the uh, recruiter. Um, now we're going to go down to the lead recruiter. Now the lead recruiter is the one who's actually going to do the outreach. So we have the task here that we define, and I'll we'll cover that in a second. Um, and so this is going to craft a personalized and compelling 
outreach. So you see here, here's the initial uh, email that they crafted. And what we've also added in here is this sentiment analysis tool. And uh, this is really our way to just check to make sure that when we're sending uh, communication out to an external candidate, that we kind of follow the right kind of approach that we want. There's actually nothing really built in here, um, but you can see uh, it's actually reviewing the text that we've sent and giving uh, feedback on whether this is positive or negative. Okay, so now we have everything and we've redrafted the email and now we're ready to go. So if I then show this here, you can see uh, this is the email that our lead recruiter is ready to send. And so you can imagine you plug this into your CRM or into your ATS and you can actually just have this sent directly to the candidate. Um, and you can see this is, it's, it's good, not great. I would say this is, you know, an average recruiter would probably be able to write this, but you can see how little time we've actually spent on this. And if you imagine spending you know, five or 10 minutes to research and reach out to each individual uh, candidate, and you have 100 candidates that you want to get into your pipeline, that's going to take you a long time. With this process, you can actually do it you know, in just a few minutes. You can leave it running while you go and grab a coffee, come back, and you've got everything ready to go. Um, and so that's the um, kind of one of the examples of where we could potentially use AI to actually start helping with this process. It's the kind of sourcer, the researching, and the outreach if you're doing outbound communication. You can also think um, if you're actually reviewing inbound candidates, you could use the same approach where you kind of look through a list of uh, different resumes and you try and pick apart what each uh, candidate has um, that's in their strengths or in their weaknesses, um, and you know, trying to identify the best candidates for a given role actually move those through the process uh, in, in an automated fashion with the ability to personalize how you're going to do that. Um, now, if we go down below a little further, um, I'm going to skip through this very quickly. Uh, I want to show up on the screen so you can actually stop the stop the video and read it if you'd like. Um, but you can see how we've set up the code here. We're using uh, GPT-4.0, um, and we're using this uh, tool called Serpa, uh, which is actually going to uh, do the, the search online for us. Um, you can see how we're setting up the agents. So we have our recruiter and lead recruiter. They have a goal and a backstory, so you can actually give additional context to these agents as if you were you know, hiring an individual to do this role. Um, you can see the tools that we're, we're pulling in. So Crew AI, um, if you've never heard of it, I definitely recommend going on their website and uh, take a look at all the different kind of capabilities they have. Um, and what they have is these kind of built-in tools that allow you to kind of access all these different tasks that you potentially want to do. Uh, we also created this custom tool. Uh, this is based on a tutorial I, I did uh, earlier this week. So um, I haven't really changed very much. I uh, really just wanted to show you how we, we would maybe pivot this into a recruiting use case and the different tasks. So we have kind of the profiling um, and personalized outreach. Um, and you can see what they're using as tools as we kind of go through this uh, and then kind of creating the crew. And that's pretty much it. Um, you know, we uh, very quickly in just you know a few lines of code, are able to actually use um, generative AI tools in a way that we can kind of group these things together and replace some of the manual recruiting work um, that we know we have to do. And you can really think about how you, how you potentially expand this and have agents who you think of you know every individual uh, within an organization. You could have an agent that assists that individual by taking on some of the kind of very easily definable tasks and just running those in parallel with what the human's doing. Or maybe you're a recruiter and you don't have a sourcer, and so you use this tool to uh, you know, go out, source me people, and maybe draft a uh, kind of the outreach, and then I'm going to edit it before I send it. But it's just really going to kind of leverage um, your time much more effectively to make one-on-one -on -one connections as opposed to doing a lot of the dull manual process um, that's not going to be uh, quite as effective. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, there's a ton more that we can do on this. So if you do like this kind of content, please drop, drop a comment. Uh, I'll definitely follow up and do maybe a more detailed deep dive on you know, how you could potentially replace the whole HR department with AI tools. Not that I think that's coming anytime soon. Um, but I think there's a lot of potential here. Uh, and it's probably currently very underutilized. I think there are also potential weaknesses. So um, you know, we can definitely dig into that. Um, please uh, like the video if you uh, found it helpful. Please subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Um, and there'll also be another video popping up for uh, similar content that might be more relevant to you. So thanks very much. Hope you have a great day.